All right, today I'm going to show you how to connect to ClickUp using the coefficient add-on. If you don't have the coefficient add-on, go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and then search for coefficient in the add-on store. Once you have the coefficient add-on installed, click on add-ons, coefficient, and launch to launch the coefficient sidebar. Once the sidebar is open, click on import from, and then we're going to find ClickUp. So it'll be under suggested sources. If you do not see it there, click on see all sources. Once you have ClickUp, then click on connect. And then we need to authorize the connection to pull that data. And so once we connect that, then we'll come back here and click on start from scratch. And so now we can select an object or report here. And so we have tasks, lists, folders, spaces, or teams. And so let's assume we want to get tasks what you'll see here is we need a list ID. So to get the list ID, we'll want to get the list. And just to shortcut this, the list requires the folder ID, the folder ID requires a space ID, and the space ID requires the team ID. And so if we don't have any of those, then we're gonna go ahead and start from the top, and we're just gonna quickly iron down through. So I'm gonna click on preview, and here is our team ID. I'm gonna go back to request, and then we'll go to space. And then I'm going to copy back that team ID. And now we have our space. And so if you have multiple spaces, you'll just want to select the one that is relevant. Or if this is where you want to end, you can go ahead and click import here. Let's go ahead and keep ironing down here. So let's go to folders and enter in our space ID. And so we just have one folder here. So we're going to go ahead and keep going. And again, you could always stop at any point if this is what you want to get and just click import there. You can also select or deselect what you want to show as the columns. So we're going to go ahead and go down another level, go to lists and paste in that folder ID. And now we have a couple of lists. You can see the name of the list there. And if you scroll over, we can see how many tasks we have. So again, you can import this and you can import these in as different tabs as well. So we're going to go ahead and get to the final result. We're going to go and copy this ID for this list. And then we're going to go back here to tasks. And then we'll take that list ID that we just found out. And then we can determine if you want uh, archived tasks here. Um, and you can also select if you want to do any of these, if you want to do the sort, updated, etc. Once you're done with that, then go ahead and click preview here. And we'll see what that looks like. Now we can select or deselect any columns of data that we want to display. And when you're good to go, you can go ahead and click on import. And then once our data is done importing, we'll have this auto refresh pop up. And so you can select an hourly, daily or weekly schedule that you would like to auto refresh the data. Or you can click on not right now if you want to set that up later or you want to do it manually. So now we have our data in here. You can always open the sidebar from this button and you can run this from here if you do not want to do it automatically on that refresh schedule. You can also update that endpoint URL if you need to change tasks or go to um, a list or space. You can also change the fields here as well if you like. All right, that is it for today. I hope that helps you see how quick and easy it is to use coefficient to pull in your data from ClickUp.